Some showers and storms move through north central Florida today, but the good news is drier air and drier conditions are on its way. I'm UF forecaster Brian Boggiano. High pressure lifted to the north today, and as a result, we did see a tropical wave slowly move its way into southern Florida, and some of that moisture even tapped into north central Florida. So we did see a few showers and storms firing up near I-75, the nature coast, which started around the first coast this afternoon before moving inland. We did see some heavy rain as a result. A couple showers and storms are possible through midnight, but after that, it'll be calm and dry with those temperatures dropping into the low 70s by 73 degrees at 6 a.m. It is going to be pretty calm though with those light winds only between 2 and 5 miles an hour. Still muggy though and partly cloudy, but the good news is it will be dry and it's going to stay like that through Tuesday afternoon. In fact, highs will be in the low to mid 90s, 93 degrees in Lake City, 93 in Gainesville, 95 in Ocala, 93 degrees in Crystal River. It'll be dry and mostly sunny, only a few clouds, but once again, there is going to be a heat index which is going to make it feel like it's anywhere between 100 and 105 degrees, so you will want to stay hydrated as you go into the day Tuesday. Now, the first of my three big things is those rain chances lowering for Tuesday and Wednesday after the tropical wave that passed through the southern part of the state moved through. We are going to see some drier air moving in behind that. Now, for Thursday and Friday, we do have a change as a cold front is going to make its way down into north central Florida. Now, as this happens, our rain chances will go up for the later part of the work week. But a little bit of good news for Saturday and Sunday. We do have a little bit of a noticeably drier and cooler pattern coming for the weekend. Those temperatures dropping about 5 degrees and those rain chances dropping off by Sunday. But before then, we are going to see a lot of moisture over north central Florida. A little bit of dry air has been moving in Tuesday afternoon. But then notice we have some changes starting to come Thursday as this front slowly starts to dip to the south. A lot more moisture is going to start to develop over north central Florida. So all this dark green means we're going to see some pretty heavy rain going today, Thursday and Friday. But then some relief will come for the weekend as all this dry air will start to filter into our area and we will start to see a drop in our temperatures and also our rain chances for the weekend. For tomorrow though, we'll be hot, but once again, those rain chances will be low, starting in the low 70s, heating up to about 90 degrees and notice only about a 20% chance of rain in the evening, but those rain chances do go up by Friday to 50%. They start to taper off Saturday as that front moves through and notice by Sunday, we are a little bit cooler after that front leaves to North Central Florida.